Hello. Welcome to Vintage Key Studio. My name is The Hateful Harlequin, and today, first of all, I'm going to be showing you this new device that I have here. It's a counter. Now, let's see what can I count. How many of me are there in here? One. How many microphones do I have below me with a red lead? One. Today, we're going to be having a look at a thing called a strovile, or strovilin, or strocello. Very closely related to the phono fiddle, so it's a similar thing. Firstly, let me just go and get a cello and show you how big a cello is. This is a cello. And this is a strovile. This was invented in 1899 by a man called John Stroh, who is an electrical designer and engineer. Um, and he lived in London and he developed this because they wanted a violin that would sound clearer on, on recordings. Because if you think back to the early days of the recording era, recordings were done onto originally wax cylinder which had like a very limited frequency band and then also just after that onto disc and that was very limited frequency band so violins which are kind of quite high sounding would never really get recorded very well so this man came up with the idea of a like a violin type instrument with a horn on it these were quite common up until the end of the, the 1910s and sort of early 1920s, when recording techniques got a little bit more advanced and uh, they stopped producing these, but they were quite expensive when they came out. So there's not that many of these around anymore. They made various different versions of them. They made like four string versions. I've no idea why they thought to make a, a one string version of it. That's what this is. And the way it works is a string is mounted on a bridge here, which is connected to a uh, metal diaphragm inside. If I'm just hitting that very slightly or scratch it. Through this microphone here, you can hear the sound of it. So it's a similar idea to a gramophone needle, an early one. So in a recording studio in the sort of 1910s, not that they really had many recording studios then, but in the sort of places where they recorded things in churches and wherever, you'd have had a group of people around here with all like these things playing with the horn. I find it very difficult to play this as I'm not really a string player at all. But you can see it's got frets on it, which violins don't usually have. And I think it was obviously sort of to cater for the kind of folk music market as well. There's not that many original recordings with these on that I know of. Not bad. As you can hear, it's got a sound a bit like Curved Air, the prog rock band, just because he used a, um, an electric violin, and I think it sounds quite like that. But it's, it's a very distinctive sound. Here I've just got an old AKG dynamic mic stuck in the... Uh, not quite right in it, I suppose I could move a bit closer and you could get a, a, a bit of a more intense and scratchy, horrible sound.
I did have a little string training as a child, but not much. So that's about it, really. It's just a, a, a piece of wood, probably like mahogany or something, with two knee trembler things to stick it like that. A horn stuck to a bridge with a string over the top of it on a fretboard with one tuning peg up there. And uh, this cost me £200. Believe it or not, I have actually done a couple of sessions on this and people have actually paid me to play it. Can you believe that? Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this brief video and I bet you're glad that you don't live next door to me. Feel free to like and subscribe. I'll have a keyboard of some description in the next video. Uh, but this has been sitting over there on the top of a Leslie speaker cabinet for ages and I keep thinking oh, I must do a quick video of that. So anyway, the Strovile from around about 1901, I was told when I bought it. Good night.